Today, my father chose to take a long walk because he likes to walk and think. He is not yet sure if he wants to marry my mother, and once in a while, he becomes panicky about the bond they have already established. I am anonymous, and I have forgotten myself. It is always so when one goes to the movies. It is, as they say, a drug. My mother feels satisfied by the interest which she has awakened. She is showing my father how intelligent she is and how interesting. My father tells my mother how much money he has made in the last week, exaggerating an amount which need not have been exaggerated. But my father has always felt that actuality somehow falls short. Suddenly, I begin to weep. There, there. It's only a moment. My father becomes exultant. His own future begins to intoxicate him. My father tells my mother that he's going to expand his business, for there's a great deal of money to be made. Then, with awful daring, then he asks my mother to marry him, although awkwardly enough and puzzled, even in his excitement at how he had arrived at the proposal, and she, to make the whole business worse, begins to cry, and my father looks nervously about, not knowing at all what to do now, and my mother says, It's all I've wanted from the moment I met you. My father finds all this very difficult, scarcely to his taste, scarce as he had thought it would be on his long walks over Brooklyn Bridge in the reverie of his fine cigar, and it was then that I stood up in the theater and shouted, don't do it! Nothing good will come of it! Only remorse, hatred, scandal, and two children whose characters are monstrous! And so, I shut my eyes, because I could not bear to see what was happening. I sat there quietly. But after a while, I begin to take brief glimpses, and at length, I watch again with thirsty interest like a child who wants to maintain his sulk, although offered the bribe of candy. My parents are now having their picture taken in a photographer's booth. The camera is set to the side on its tripod and looks like a Martian man. Photographer explains that he has pride. He is not interested in all this for the money. He wants to make beautiful pictures. And my father says, Hurry up, will you? We haven't got all night. Photographer only scurries about apologetically and issues new directions. Photographer charms me. I approve of him with all my heart, for I know just how he feels. And as he criticizes each revised pose according to some unknown idea of rightness, I become quite hopeful. up again some time has passed for they have now arrived at a fortune teller's booth I in my seat am shocked more than can ever be said, for I feel as if I were walking a tightrope a hundred feet over a circus audience, and suddenly the rope is showing signs of breaking, and I get up from my seat and begin to shout once more the first words I can think of to communicate my terrible fear. Doesn't my father know what he's doing? What are you doing? Don't you know you can't do whatever you want to do? Why should a young man like you, with your whole life before you, get hysterical like this? You can't act like this even if other people aren't around. You will be sorry if you do not do what you should do. You'll find this out soon enough. Everything you do matters too much.